underground radio station here, and we say what we feel like saying. I'm Derek Johnson of the Rabbit First Termer Iraq Show. The Rabbit Zone show that you're about to experience is brought to you in high definition Dave Rabbit Audio. Dave Rabbit Audio. Hey everybody, boy, do I have a huge surprise for you for this, the video Rabbit Zone number 48, a band called Citizens of Contrary Knowledge. And the letters stand for cock. And the hits just keep on coming. Band called Citizens of Contrary Knowledge from New York City, the hell. And uh, as I said at the very beginning of the show, uh, the initials of the band is C O C K, pronounced cock. <laughs> hey, how many guys uh, around the world, DJs and radio personalities alike, uh, have just been dying to uh, say those words, uh, you know, worldwide? So, uh, hey, I, I got to be honest with you guys. Um, I go through literally probably a dozen bands a week uh, through the Podsafe Music Network, uh, which I am a producer, uh, to try to call out and find interesting bands, interesting music. And, and I try to stay in my hard rock genre, uh, even though, uh, and I'm going to, so I don't have to sit there and go, uh, citizens of contrary knowledge, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take advantage of the word cock. Uh, so, you know, when you see a band like cock, 
uh, citizens of contrary knowledge, uh, you're going, well, what the hell kind of, you know, band is this, you know? And, and nine times out of ten, probably I would not have even given their, um, their samples a listen that, uh, the producers have an opportunity to have a sample and we can listen to it or whatever. And actually we can hear the whole song. And then if we decide to promote the band, then of course we can, uh, download the songs from the Pod Save Music Network. And, uh, you know, as long as we, uh, credit the band and obviously, uh, the Pod Save Music Network, I mean, it's all RIAA compliant stuff. Uh, but you know, you see a band name like that and you're going, eh, I don't know, you know. And normally, probably I would have skipped by and I, and I, uh, clicked on the very first one. They, they had several there to, to listen to. And the very first one I clicked on was Spread Your Wings, which you just got through listening to on the intro. And I thought, wow, you know, this isn't really hard acid rock. This is kind of smooth melodic rock. And the vocals are absolutely killer. They've got four band members, Blake Hepburn, Mike Leslie, Mark Herman, and Chris Barzinski. Uh, as I said, they're all out of the New York area, have a wide, varied background uh, of music. And I'm telling you, the rest of the songs in this show are of that same caliber of vocal, that same caliber of music. It's just a great, great sound. I think you're going to love these guys. Uh, I know I'm a huge fan of Citizens of Contrary Knowledge. Now, uh, they've got a couple of interesting websites. Of course, the traditional one is myspace.com forward slash citizens of contrary knowledge. And then they have another website, which is uh, kind of their band website, if you will. And it's called uh, cock, <laughs> C-O-C-K, rocks, R-O-X, dot com. And uh, uh, you can check those guys out there. And see what they're all about. Well, okay, listen, we got a big show. Great music. Uh, just going to be a lot of fun. Got some things I'm really going to ram down your throat. Uh, but uh, I have to say, I went and saw Avatar for the fourth time uh, today, uh, the 3D version. And uh, as I think I l said last show, uh, it's already, it was on the verge of breaking worldwide records. It has already surpassed every single record worldwide and domestically uh, at the movies. Uh, I mean, it's the number one movie ever, and it has no signs of lightening up. I went to like a 3 o'clock uh, feature here in Dallas at my local IMAX that I love, and uh, I guarantee you that place was 70% filled on, on a Thursday when I'm actually doing the show, 70% uh, filled. And uh, it's topping every single week so far, and I think it's on the seventh or eighth week in a row, uh, being the number one movie in the world. Now, here's something very interesting. James Cameron was quoted as saying that they are already in production concept talks about the sequel already to Avatar. And the sequel will be... Uh, I think James Cameron said, you know, the first movie, obviously, I've seen four times, is three hours, but there's a lot of backstory and a lot of tenderness and building up, you know, the Navi and all this other stuff. And uh, the next movie is going to be strictly all-out uh, planetary war of the humans, us, against the Navi. And it's going to be three hours of just hard-hitting, uh, kind of like an, an aliens thing where it's just constant on the edge of your seat action. So that'll be kind of interesting. So uh, we'll see how that goes and uh, and uh, kind of take it from there. All right, uh, back with more music. I mean, I, I, I guarantee you, you're going to absolutely love this music. And, and this is a kind of a neat song. It's, it's, it's very, very melodic. I really love this song. It's called Beautiful Dreamer. It's only fair When you spend your days avoiding the sun You stand in the shadows unknown It's only 